Scope and Standards of Practice. Standards are created to establish expectations for professional behavior and to protect the nurse, the client, and the facility where client care is practiced. Each individual nurse is accountable for following the code of conduct and upholding ethical values. State Nurse Practice Acts serve as current laws and regulations that govern nursing practice in every state and territory of the United States. The Nurse Practice Act identifies what conditions must be met for licensure. It is the duty of each state to protect all clients who are receiving care. Defining the scope of practice is a two-step process. The state legislature passes a law identified as the Nurse Practice Act to regulate nursing practice within the boundaries of the state. Then the state legislature identifies a regulatory body known as the State Board of Nursing. Each State Board of Nursing is provided or given the authority to enforce regulations and rules that are set by the Nurse Practice Act. Educational program standards and curriculum rules as well as clinical learning experiences must be approved by the Board of Nursing. The standards and scope of nursing practice are evaluated against the Nurse Practice Act. Each nurse is responsible for knowing and adhering to the state's Nurse Practice Act and regulations. Nurses can locate their state's Nurse Practice Act and rules on their State Board of Nursing's website. The scope of nursing practice is to alleviate client suffering and to promote healing by competent nursing practice and professional performance. When a nurse receives licensure in a primary state, which is the state the nurse resides in or the state the nurse plans to reside in, the nurse is required to follow the scope of practice for that state. Standards of practice are explanatory statements that describe the competent level of care that is to be provided by registered nurses. Nurse graduates with a standard set of skills that deem them competent to perform as entry-level nurses. Competent nurses utilize nursing standards of practice that correspond to, to the critical thinking model known as the nursing process. The nursing process guides into the in the delivery of client care by providing the nurse with a methodical approach to quality-based care. The nursing process includes the steps of assessment or data collection, analysis, planning, implementation, and evaluation. The standards of professional performance state that nurses evaluate their own nursing practice. A nurse should seek information and guidance to ensure they are providing competent care that reflects current practice. A nurse is responsible for their professional actions and behavior to those individuals with whom they interact professionally which can include the clients, colleagues, and society. The National Council of the State Boards of Nursing, or the NCSBN, studied problems currently associated with nursing education and the retention of new graduate nurses as they transition into nursing practice. 
The NCSBN noted that the failure of new nurses to transition into the nursing role appropriately can have severe repercussions for nursing practice, nursing education, and nursing retention. The standards of professional nursing practice define responsibilities that every nurse is expected to be capable of performing, regardless of the nurse's role, the population, or the area of specialty. The standards of professional nursing practice consist of the standards of practice and the standards of professional performance. Educational nursing programs are regulated and approved by state's Board of Nursing to ensure that these educational programs cover knowledge and skills needed for graduate nurses to practice safe and competent nursing care. For nursing programs to gain approval from the State Board of Nursing, the program must meet state requirements under the Nurse Practice Act, including administrative rules and regulations. A student that is enrolled in a nursing education program must complete two requirements to obtain nursing licensure. They need to graduate from a nursing education program that has been approved by the Board of Nursing, and they need to pass the National Council Licensure or Examination, or the NCLEX. Quality and Safety Education for Nurses was a project in 2005 based on the Institution of Medicine's core competencies for all healthcare clinicians. It's a skill set needed to provide safe and quality care. Patient-centered care is achieved when the nurse provides caring, compassionate, and culturally sensitive care that addresses the client's physiological, psychological, sociological, spiritual, and cultural needs, preferences, and values. Teamwork and collaboration competency involve the nurse being aware of their own strengths and limitations. Evidence-based practice competency relates to the nurse's ability to analyze the difference between evidence-based care versus the normal way of providing client care, which could result in a less desirable client outcome. Quality improvement competency entails the application of care-related and organizational processes to develop and implement a plan to improve healthcare services and better meet the needs of the client. Safety competency involves minimizing risk factors that could cause injury or harm while promoting quality care and maintaining a secure environment for the client, self, and others. Informatics competency involves the nurse's ability to utilize technology as communication and information gathering tool that will support clinical decision making and scientifically based nursing practice. The National League of Nursing is a nationally known nursing organization for nursing faculty and nursing education leaders. The purpose of the NLN is to foster excellence in nursing education, to build a strong and diver diverse nursing workforce, to advance the health of the nation and the global community. The NLN's nursing mission is guided by four core values, caring, integrity, diversity, and excellence. New graduates should demonstrate the following four NLN competencies, 
human flourishing, nursing judgment, professional identity, and spirit of inquiry. American Association of Colleges of Nursing, AACN, is an organization that represents schools of nursing throughout the United States. AACN's Bachelor of Science in Nursing Essentials consists of nine essentials that outline the expected curriculum content and required competencies for nursing graduates from a pre-licensure baccalaureate program. Number one, education that exposes nurses to multiple fields of study, providing the foundation for a global perspective of society. Number two, Ability to understand power relationships and use decision-making and leadership skills to help promote safe practice and quality improvement. Number three, understand the research process and base practice and clinical judgments upon fact-based evidence to enhance outcomes. Number four, use computer-based information management systems and client care technology while providing client care. Number five, identify the role of regulatory agencies in relation to the development of healthcare policies and their effect on patient care services, access to care, financial reimbursement, and scope of nursing practice. Number six, ability to function as a member of the healthcare team while promoting an environment that supports interprofessional communication and collaboration with the goal of providing client-centered care. Number seven, Identify risk factors that relate to health and facilitate behaviors that support health promotion and disease and injury prevention while providing population-focused care that focuses on principles of epidemiology and promotes social justice. Number eight, practice nursing in a professional manner while providing client-centered care that is caring, respecting diversity, and follows legal and ethical tenets. Number nine, able to practice as a generalist, using clinical reasoning to provide care to clients across the lifespan and healthcare continuum, and to individuals families, groups, communities, and populations. The graduate should consider the whole person and provide patient-centered care and respect the person as an individual. The National Association for Practical Nurse Education and Services is an organization that is responsible for setting standards for educating licensed practical or vocational nurses and advancing practice and education of practical and vocational nurses. Licensed practical nurses graduate after spending up to 18 months in an approved practical nursing certificate, certificate program. Upon completion of the program, the graduate, either LPN or LVN, should be able to demonstrate professional accountability and behavior and should understand the importance of following the ethical, legal, and regulatory policies as defined in their State Nurse Practice Act. After completing and receiving a certificate, the graduate student must apply to the State Board of Nursing for permission to take the NCLEX PN. After meeting the requirements for taking the exam, 
The student must successfully pass the NCLEX PN to become officially licensed by the State Board of Nursing. If the student fails the exam, a waiting period of 45 to 90 days is required before retaking the exam. The LPN performs many of the same basic nursing functions as the registered nurse, yet their roles are very different. The LPN often works in various settings, which entails um, different job duties and responsibility levels compared to the registered nurse. The LPN frequently works in long-term care facilities, provider offices, urgent care clinics, rehabilitation centers, and acute care hospitals. The LPN is not permitted to diagnose or independently treat clients because they are not legally qualified. The, I, the LPN always works under the direct supervision of an RN healthcare provider or an advanced practice registered nurse. The registered nurse holds a diploma, associate's degree or bachelor's degree in nursing, has successfully passed the NCLEX RN exam, and has met all of the State Board of Nursing licensing obligations. Registered nurses agree to follow the state's scope of practice as determined by the Board of Nursing. Standards of practice are descriptive statements that describe a component level of care the practicing nurse provides using the critical thinking model known as the nursing process. The registered nurse nursing process consists of the following steps. Assessment, analysis, planning, implementation, and evaluation. Advanced practice registered nurses are nurses who have earned at a minimum a master's degree in nursing in one of the four recognized APRN roles. A certified nurse anesthetist, certified nurse midwife, clinical nurse specialist, certified nurse practitioner. The certified nurse practitioner chooses a specialty tract to study to complete the nursing program successfully. The advanced practice registered nurse is licensed as an independent practitioner who can practice autonomously and as a member of the interdisciplinary team. The National Council of State Boards of Nursing is an organization whose membership includes the State Boards of Nursing, representing every state, the District of Columbia, and the four United States territories. These boards of nursing are responsible for regulating the nursing practice. The National Council Licensure Exam, the NCLEX RN and NCLEX PM, are two types of standardized adaptive tests that have been developed by the National Council of State Boards of Nursing. And these exams are used by state regulatory boards to determine if a candidate is safe to practice as an entry-level nurse. The process of licensure involves the verification of graduation from an approved pre-licensure nursing education program, confirmation of successful completion of the NCLEX exam, and some states require a criminal background check. The NCLEX RN and NCLEX PN exams use a national standardized computerized adaptive testing method to measure a candidate's real competence. The CAT method works by selecting a test question based upon all previous answers the candidate has given 
and the difficulty of those questions. All 50 states have the same criteria for passing. NCLEX RN and NCLEX PN exams are graded as either a pass or a fail. The NCSBN has created three rules to determine if a candidate passes or fails the NCLEX exam. The 95% confidence interval rule is most commonly used. This rule determines the computer will stop giving the candidate items when the computer is 95% certain that the candidate's ability is above and passing or clearly below and failing the standard. The minimum number of questions for the NCLEX RN is 75 and the maximum is 265. For the NCLEX PN, the minimum number of questions is 85 and the maximum number of questions is 205. Licensure is a method by which the Board of Nursing authorizes an individual to practice nursing within a specific scope of practice. Licensure ensures that an individual has met predetermined qualifications to practice the profession, thereby protecting the public from undue harm and providing safe and competent care. License renewal is required to maintain the right to practice nursing. State boards of nursing are responsible for implementing the necessary procedures for nurses to apply for licensure renewal. When renewing a license, the applicant is required to disclose any history of a criminal record, substance misuse within the last five years, and any action taken against a professional license, registration, or certification. Once a license is issued, the nurse must follow provisions that has been defined by state law or risk the Board of Nursing taking disciplinary action if the nurse is considered unsafe, incompetent, or violates the, the Nurse Practice Act. Any action by the nurse that places a client at harm is a reason for the Board of Nursing to take disciplinary action against the nurse. The Nurse Licensure Compact permits nurses to practice in primary state of residence and other compact states under one multi-state licensure. The Nurse Licensure Compact was developed in 1997 by the NCSBN. 34 states currently recognize the multi-state license and ha or have legislation pending to recognize multi-state license. If the applicant does not meet the uniform licensure requirements for a multi-state license, they will need to apply for a single state license. States recognized as reciprocal states when they accept a valid nursing license from another state. All 50 states practice reciprocity because all graduate nurses take the same NCLEX exam and have the same requirements for passing and all exams are computerized. Applying for reciprocity differs from applying for an initial licensure. The nurse that wants to transfer a single state license from one state to another is required to have a valid license with a clean record, submit an application with the State Board of Nursing for licensure, and pay a fee before being approved. The National Certification in Specialty Practice may be restricted to nurses who already hold an advanced degree. Some are open to undergraduate nurses. 
Certificate programs generally offer continuing education hours. Completion of the certificate program earns the nurse the ability to enhance their practice in a specific area, to enhance the curriculum vitae or resume. This makes the nurse more marketable and potentially will result in an increase in their salary. Credentialing is a process that provides confirmation of an individual's ability to practice as a health professional. This requires the individual to complete a program of study and demonstrate abilities established as standards of care. Nursing credentials. After passing the NCLEX examination, nurses will sign legal documentation during the course of their professional responsibilities using their earned credentials. The credentials provide identification that the nurse has met established standards of excellence and achievement, and this will communicate the information to employers, peers, and consumers. Nurses' credentials should be listed in specific order beginning with the highest level of education attained, followed by licensure, then state designation and requirement, national certification, honors, awards, and any other um, certifications.